they fuel an unhealthy relationship with your body, an unhealthy relationship with food, and so. Where is my props? Oh my god, why am I like this? Seriously, I'm so confused. Oh my god. And I was just using... Ah, it's here. I literally cannot work this lighting out. So hi, welcome. I need to stop clapping as well. <laughs> People do not like it when you clap. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to... Hi, my name's Helena. <laughs> welcome to today's channel. Wait, what? Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another 24 hour challenge video. This I'm nervous for. I'm not going to lie. I am a bit terrified so this video isn't necessarily an original idea it kind of is but kind of isn't it's inspired by rebecca lung i don't know if i'm saying the surname right i have a feeling i'm not so i apologize but anyway the video is inspired by her because she is an incredible youtuber and she does sort of anorexia recovery videos and just all types of challenges along those lines definitely would recommend going to watch her anyway she did a video based on what instagram explore page that didn't make any sense. She did a video based on eating as if, no. Nope. She did a video based on um, Instagram explore page and how that makes her eat. That didn't make any sense, but I definitely would recommend going to watch that video. And so I'm gonna do a spin-off of that effectively and going to be doing 24 hour challenge based on what a diet magazine tells me to eat. That really fucked my lighting up. Hi, I'm Helena. Welcome to my channel. I don't know how to do lighting. There's things on timings, there's things on snacks, there's things on carbs, there's things on exercise, all of the lot. So I'm going to be doing, I've even said, I'm going to be doing 24 hours based on a diet magazine. That being said, I've already f***ed up because it says you need to eat your breakfast at 8 and the time is not 8. I think it's 9. So, why is this here? Get out of my shop. <sighs> So I've made my breakfast. So I've got like a third of what I usually have, basically. It doesn't stop there. Okay, so before I can eat my breakfast, and there are a few things that I need to do. I've got to have a tablecloth. Now I don't have a tablecloth, so I've got a tea towel instead. Which is disgusting, wow. US researchers say that eating in a relaxed atmosphere, having a tablecloth, playing soft music. Oh my God, let's play some soft music. Non copyright classical music. Okay, here we go, this is better. And then, the one that I'm most looking forward to, number 11. Bearing in mind I'm having yogurt and fruit, I am now eating it with a fork. I guess I should just sit back and enjoy my classical music and eat with my fork. This is making this whole environment very depressing. <laughs> I don't feel great eating this, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we changed. There is still an adequate amount of yogurt in there, but I can't reach it because I only have a fork. I've done the best I can do. I still feel hungry. Have no fear because... Burn some vanilla scented candles. Uh, that's full stop there. I don't know why I went. Candles? Where are my matches? Where are they though? So hi. It's still the morning. It's about half ten and I think I'm gonna have to have a snack because I just can't not. It's an issue because with my old, old, old pal, Rob Cheat, he says, no snacks. Okay, so this, uh, Slimming World, okay, does Slimming World give me snacks options? That's the question. I'm gonna say no. Okay, so this is a carb thing. I was about to drink my candle, wow. I feel. This doesn't really say anything about snacks either. At 11 a.m. I get to have a snack. Chopped green vegetables with a handful of nuts. 
I don't have any chopped vegetables. So what well, I've got, this is the, the, the amount of kale I have, which is not a lot. I'm gonna make up the portion with soybeans. So it kind of counts. The cashews are my only nut that I have. So. <gasps> Here I am, and I didn't bring a fork. What's new? Mm. I mean, it's not bad. It's like 20 past 11 in the morning and I don't want to be having kale and cashews. <laughs> Rob didn't say anything about nuts. So that's a bit of a concern. So I've just read on the which carbs are best for you thing, and it's talking about healthy food swaps, and it's telling me to switch my kale for spinach, which just seems like a waste of paper and print. I don't get it. Oh, I guess I will have a think about what I'm allowed to have for lunch. Interesting. So, yeah, I will see you. I literally just caught my hair on fire trying to turn off the camera. <laughs> and I see. Great. So it's half one and I've decided I need to go to co-op because I want avocado and hummus. On the hummus front, the hummus is technically a cheat, so I have to minima like limit that, which is annoying, but like seeing it as a cheat has made me want it. Do you know what I mean? So I've made it back home. They didn't have any avocados. Now I'm really lost of what to have for lunch. It's already 22 and I feel very stressed. All I want is an avocado. It's just really like, complicated because there's so many different aspects of this book, like to try and, like, it's actually quite stressful. <laughs> Okay, we had a minor stress, but I think we're over it. I think we've passed through. What I'm gonna have is tofu. So I have this smoked tofu with two slices of toast, this small annoying tiny one, with hummus, salad, and like sauerkraut things. So tip number six is to eat on a side plate. Great. So, okay, now what? Mmm, this looks interesting. It just looks ridiculous. So here's my meal. Bit of a weird one, but the meal itself I'd probably have. But what I don't like is the fact that one, I'm eating on a side plate, which means it's gonna go everywhere because I've made it into a mountain. And two, this meal contains three cheat foods and therefore what usually would be like just a normal meal for me has now got connotations that the things that I'm eating in it aren't good things to eat. How am I supposed to do this? I'm sort of treating it as if people that are reading this book, why do I keep calling it a book, it was a magazine, will read the entire thing, because that's what you do when you, you read a magazine. So it doesn't make any sense for there to be such conflicting information in the book. I get that you need many sides of like arguments, but it doesn't make sense for the beginning to be like, you won't, you don't eat snacks, and then later on to be like, definitely have snacks. It's really confusing. I got it everywhere, but that was quite tasty. I feel really tired. Let's go. That being said, I'm gonna go make myself a tea. I don't wanna to have too much coffee. As much as I'd like another one. So I decided to have a coffee instead. Because, as I said, I'm really tired, but I've decided to stop being so dramatic because although I am tired, I'm being rather dramatic, so positivity. It's okay. We're, we're getting through. So I'm gonna have this coffee and actually do something with my day, and then I will see you when I next eat. So it's now 3.30, so I've missed my snack time by half an hour. Well, see, here's the thing. Like, they don't really offer much advice when it comes to snacks, is what I've established. <sighs> I decided to have this. Well, I'm gonna have this. Good to you. So, the um, final tip is to put a mirror in your kitchen so that when you look at yourself, you won't want to eat. Yeah, I just said that, but that, those are the words. In the end, I decided to go for like a lentil stew with tofu and like a salad. I mean, it's interesting. That's for sure. Ugh. I topped it with some hummus, which is a cheat. So I'm on four cheats out of six, out of 10. 
So it's gonna be really weird, I think. I think it's a really weird meal. <laughs> I mean, the lentils are tasty, but they're hot, so like the lettuce then goes hot. Just got my face. Mm. I just feel like throughout this whole day, I've been made to feel bad about eating foods that I would usually eat. The issue with these types of things is that that's where like binges and things start to come into it because we live in a culture where certain foods are deemed bad and when a food's deemed bad and we restrict it is when we crave it well i guess they give the magazine credit it hasn't told me explicitly not to eat them what well, some some of the articles have but like the rob cheat one his article explicitly says we don't want you to like cut everything out anything out which is good i just don't like the idea of being something being called a cheat i just think as soon as you call something a cheat it becomes a desire The side plate thing is just annoying because I'm eating the same amount, I'm just spilling it everywhere. Mm. I'm gonna watch Friends. I know I'm not supposed to watch TV when I eat, but at the same time, it's all I feel like doing right now. That was yummy. Just about ready to fall asleep though. I need to... It's 20 to 7 and I am gonna go get ready for the gym. And I'm probably gonna head to the gym at like 7.30 now because I don't want to throw up. So this is the workout I'm doing. It is broken up by weeks, but you start on really low dumbbells. It's basically a dumbbell workout is what I'm doing. So hi, it's now nine and I'm at home and I'm sat on my floor for no known reason just that I'm sat on my floor. I just got back from the gym. My last meal was about 6.30, so about what, three and a half, two and a half hours ago. And according to my trusty magazine, I'm not supposed to eat anything else now. Overall today I felt very tired, very like exhausted, mentally and sort of physically. And this evening in particular, I felt really like, I don't know if down's the best way to put it, but not like myself basically because and I don't know whether that's down to what I've been eating or the amount of coffees I've had and I know I'm being dramatic because it's just been one day but I think the lack of food or the like the mentality around the things I've been eating is putting stress on my self I guess when you call things a cheat you immediately feel guilty for having it regardless of whether or not you're allowed 10 you immediately feel guilty for having one well this is this is sort of for me and anyone that has sort of sort of eating. Some people might not feel that way. I I'm, I'm, could be just generalizing right now, but in general, I think that's quite a normal thing to think because it is a bad word, like a cheat. Makes it implies that it's not allowed when in reality, anything in your diet should be allowed because it doesn't make sense to, like food is food, you know? For me, I can tomorrow get up and do my thing and just go eat chocolate and all this and not feel any guilt towards it. But someone that wants to follow, wants to lose weight and does end up following these diet, these types of magazines will end up doing this for a long period of time. And if, I've, if I'm only feeling slightly weird from one day of it, then I can't imagine what a week, a month will, of this will do to you. There's so much mind games with it that you they kind of don't even realise when you're reading these types of things. Well, you might realise, but I feel like I'm being so dramatic. But, like, don't get me wrong, there are parts of this magazine where I was like, yeah, fair. But don't tell me to look at myself in a mirror to stop eating. Because that is so messed up in so many ways. Now, for me, that's not that's not damaged me. That's not damaged, like, what I feel about myself as a mirror over here, which is why I just keep looking over there. But saying that, that's exactly something that, that would have made me stop eating a while ago. A while ago, like, years ago. And the fact that you can literally pick up a magazine and that, that tells you that is quite disgusting, really. That is the type of stuff that you see on pro-anna websites in black and white. But it's here, right here, one of in a printed in a magazine. Like at the end of the day, if you want to lose weight, that's that's completely fine and that's completely up to you as a provided that you want to lose weight healthily and you're doing it from a place of love for yourself, not hatred for yourself. Um, okay, cool. Oh great, now the lighting's gone weird. Light. Things like put, putting mirrors in your kitchen or hiding spoons or eating off side plates. Like some of these things aren't healthy for your, your brain. So I've decided that because of this dramatic ending that I'm making this, that I've done my bit to show that these diet magazines, although might be good in some aspects, in the most aspects, 
they fuel an unhealthy relationship with your body, an unhealthy relationship with food, and so. Mm, here's to eating yogurt with a spoon and not hanging a mirror in your kitchen. Here's to enjoying life, eating everything to the fullest. Eating everything to the fullest? That's, that's a thing. Eating everything to the fullest. Searching for things unspoken. We can't hold this child.